It turns out it's pretty simple to create realistic cables in Blender by applying a cloth simulation to a mesh line and using geometry nodes to turn that into more cable-like meshes. The beauty of this combo is that you can hook the ends of the mesh line to different objects for real-time simulation, which makes animating a lot easier. And with a few geometry nodes, quickly customize the look of the model and materials. I've used a version of this technique to create a cable generator, which I've shared on the Discord server for anyone to use, examine, and improve on. Stop modeling the wrong way like this. Instead, use shrink wrap modifier. Just add it in the modifier section and pin the object you want to stick to. Now slightly adjust the offset to prevent intersections. By using this method, you can stick the images on any surface. Just make sure there's enough geometry to work with. Enjoy. We want the aircraft to fly along a curve. Switch to the top view, add a path by pressing Shift A, go to Curve, and choose Path. Rotate the path 90 degrees and enter Edit Mode by pressing Tab. Select a control point, press E to extrude, and shape the path however you like. Enable Curve Direction Normals in the Viewport Overlays menu to see the curves flow. If needed, Go to the Segments menu and reverse the curve direction. Adjust the curve and tilt specific control points for variation. Back to the Object Mode, select the aircraft and go to the Constraint tab. Add a Follow Path constraint and set the path as the target. Enable the Follow Curve option and click Animate Path. Play the animation, and you'll see the aircraft moving along the curve. To adjust the speed, select the path, go to the Curve Data tab, find the Path Animation section, and lower the frame value. Blender for beginners, a quick product animation trick. I'm going to add an empty axis, Control A to apply the scale on both the axis and the phone. And now I'm going to open up the Modifiers tab and I'm going to add an array modifier. I'm going to disable relative offset and enable object offset and then select my empty. Change your count value to 10. Click tab to go into edit mode. Click A to select all and then G and move your product up. I'm going to go into the timeline now with my empty selected. I'm going to click record. Add a keyframe on one by clicking R and left clicking and then go to your end frame and do R but actually rotate it all the way now and then go into rotation and do 360 slash the amount of products that you have and now you go into edit mode again and then just rotate your iPhone so that it looks like this I hope this has helped you in your blender journey thank you for watching how do you model this rotate this cylinder 90 degrees and scale down the other one but exclude the z-axis by pressing shift z add edge loops and snap them to the vertices of the second cylinder by holding control and do the same thing with the second one select both and press ctrl j to join them together and then select these faces and press ctrl e bridge edge loops Add supporting edge here and two edge loops in between. Adding supporting edge here as well. Select these two faces, do inset, bridge edge loops, and evenly distribute the edges. Do the same thing to the other side and add the subdivision surface. Now, you tell me. Today's video is brought to you by BlenderKit, the ultimate tool to take your 3D creations to the next level. Whether you're a professional artist or just getting started, BlenderKit provides you access to over 71,000 high-quality 3D assets, including models, material shapes, brushes, and even full scenes. The best part, over 53% of the library is completely free, with everything licensed for both commercial and non-commercial use, meaning you can use them in your own projects and monetized work. For those who want to elevate their workflow even more, the full plan gives you unlimited access to the premium library while also helping support open source projects like Blender itself. Join the thriving BlenderKit community today. Check out the link in the description and start creating stunning 3D artworks with ease. To pick up the ball from the ground, first, press the right arrow key to find the frame where the character touches the ball for the first time. In this case, 
It's frame 21. Select the ball and go to the Constraint tab. Add a child of constraint. Set the target object to the armature and choose the left hand bone as the sub target. Click the Set Inverse button to align the ball correctly. Disable the constraint by clicking the eye icon and hit the I key to add a keyframe at frame 21. Move to frame 22, re enable the constraint, and add another keyframe by hitting the I key. Play the animation, and the ball will now follow the character's hand. That's it. How to create felted material in Blender? Add UV sphere. Scale it down to 0.2. Add particle system. Hair length 0.05. In a render increase path steps to 5. In view port display increase steps to 5. Under children choose simple. Render amount 50. Kink type curl. Play around with size, random and radius. Finally in shading change base color. Enjoy. Creating a product animation like this is actually really simple using rigid body physics. Make sure your main object is set to passive with the animated checkbox checked. Make sure all of your surrounding objects are set to the active rigid body type. Ensure that all gravity settings are set to zero. After randomly placing your objects, make sure to set a force field with a negative value. Finally, add a turbulence force field with any value you like. Now you can keyframe any movement of your main object that you want to to interact with your rigid body physics. Add in an area light and an HDRI of your choice, and now you're ready to render. And here is the final result.